Hello, and welcome to our Eschample Burning Studio 19 video tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to burn audio discs for your car radio. What's especially important is that your radio can later detect the correct song order, particularly with audiobooks or individual music compilations. This is where many other programs fail, since car radios apply different sorting methods. Burning Studio solves this problem. Keep watching to learn how. First, select Audio Plus Music and then Create Audio Disc for Car Hi-Fi. You will now see an extensive list of car radios from various manufacturers. Simply pick your model. If needed, use the bottom text field to filter through the list. Aside from product names, the list also includes details on supported media types and formats for each model, including supported playlist formats. If your radio is not listed, click My radio isn't available at the bottom right and manually select the format supported by your device. We will cover this part in more depth in a later tutorial. Now, insert either an empty CDR or CDRW disc. The program will then verify whether the disc is compatible with the radio you selected. If your computer has multiple disc recorders, use the drop-down menu to select your preferred recorder. Click Next to proceed. This dialog handles file management. Click the plus button to open the file browser and select your songs. If the inserted disc is rewritable and already holds songs, they will automatically be added to the list. You can also rearrange the song order. Simply select a title and use the arrow buttons to move it up or down. To remove a newly added song from the compilation, click the trash can button and confirm your action. Use the playback button to preview a song. When you're satisfied with your selection, click Next. If necessary, your songs will first be converted into a device-compatible format before being burned to disk. The animation provides visual progress feedback. For the purpose of this video, we've sped up the process. The actual duration varies depending on the number of files and your hardware specs. The actual burning process is also nicely animated in Burning Studio. Once the CD is done, simply close the notification dialog and remove the disk from your drive. Then, either close the application or return to the main menu. Thanks for watching and see you in the next A Shampoo video tutorial.